Welcome back to Team Fast Eddie and HPI Baja Tutorials.com. Today we're going to be covering page number 48 of your HPI Baja SS manual, which is going to cover the building of the linkage. We're going to start off with the little rubber silicone tubing that we have left over from installing the pipe. We're going to need to cut off a 10 millimeter portion of this to use on the linkage. If you take a look at your manual, you'll see that there is a one-to-one -one drawing on there of 10 millimeters. Go ahead and just lay this right down on there and go ahead and cut it to length. Or you can measure it, it's your choice. But we've gone ahead and, and first of all we've cut the, a little piece that we will be using. Secondly, go ahead and grab your parts bag K and we're going to go ahead and empty everything out of here into our tray. Go ahead now at this point and grab your parts bag number 85414 and we're going to grab several parts out of there. Most of mine have already fallen off the tree for those so I'm just going to show you the parts as we go along here. The first one is going to be your servo arm and you need to take a look on the servo arms and they're marked and I just don't know if you can really see it in the camera here but they're marked as to the type of servo that you're using. We're using a high tech so we're going to use the 24 spline HI which is stamped right on the front for high tech. If you're using a Futaba there's one marked F if you're using a uh, K-Propo, there's one marked K. If you don't know which one is going to fit, you might have to take them off and very gently press them onto your servo to make sure that you do get the proper one. So we're going to go ahead and take off the proper servo horn. The next part is going to be the brake adjustment knob, which looks like so. Let's go ahead and place that on our table. The second one is your finger lever that you use to push on the linkage when you want to accelerate by hand um, as you're starting up or tuning. The other piece is going to be your carburetor linkage clip and it's the uh, interesting looking gadget here. Go ahead and place that on your table. And the last one I believe is a small little spring retaining grommet, very small. See if we can focus in there. That's what it looks like here. Go ahead and remove those and set them on your table. So these are the parts that we're going to use. Um, just out of ease so they don't get knocked over, I'm going to go ahead and put all these pieces to the side in my little parts bucket here and we'll grab them as needed. We're going to start off by building the throttle portion of the linkage first. We are going to want to grab your small L rod which is in your parts tray that you just took out of your bag. We're going to want to grab the little finger accelerator portion as well as this unit here which is your carburetor clip. We're going to go ahead and start off by installing the carburetor clip onto the L bracket or onto the L portion of the linkage. As you're holding the linkage you're going to want to make sure that the pointy portion of this unit inserts towards and is pointing towards the threads on this L bar as you put it on. Go ahead and just let that hang down. Go ahead and grab the little thumb accelerator and you'll notice that there are from the back two holes. One hole goes all the way through to the front and the second hole does not. We're going to use the hole that does not go all the way through and we're going to go ahead and thread that unit onto the linkage and you're going to want to look at your manual and that is going to be a total of 50 millimeters from this portion 
here to this portion when we're done threading it in and there's a one-to-one -one on your manual that you can hold it against. Um, I actually counted the turns just to help you out and you should be able to go about 22 full turns in and it should get you really close so that you're not continually having to measure. So it's going to be one, two, three, Twenty-one, twenty-two. We're going to go ahead at this point and hold it against our manual and make sure that it is the proper distance. And boy, look at that. We're about one turn too far in, so we're going to turn it back out. When you're done, you want to make sure that as the L bracket is facing towards you, like this, that this portion right here is in this position. So go ahead and study the picture and study this piece and that's how it should go together and look when it's done. At this point we're going to go ahead and grab our two little shaft retainers out of the bucket and there should also be two very small set screws. Go ahead, let's go ahead and insert the set screws into the little retainers and I am going to suggest that you use some Loctite on it so that they don't come loose. And there are two of them. Let's go ahead and put those together. Put them back in our bucket so they don't get lost. And now we're going to go ahead and get started on assembling the rest of the linkage. In your aluminum parts bag, there should be one more piece, and that's your linkage rod. And again, that's in your large aluminum parts bag, and that's the last part that's in there. And this is your linkage rod. You can see that it is uh, not a straight rod, and that the end of it is actually cocked up to the side a little bit. The first part that we're going to put onto this rod is going to be one of the retainers. So go ahead and grab one, and let's work with the threaded end, not the bent end, but the threaded end and go ahead and slip this on and we're going to bring it about three quarters of the way up to the end. At this point we want to hold the linkage against the manual and you can take a look that about halfway up on the page is a full scale picture of the uh, of the linkage. So we're going to go ahead and start from the left hand side and just as it looks, we're going to go ahead and hold that linkage onto the page. And I like to actually fold the page up a little bit so it, so it has a bend in it. And we're going to place this retainer exactly where it shows, right on the manual, which is 90 millimeters up. And we're going to go ahead and tighten it. Don't, don't tighten it down too tight because it is made of aluminum and you'll strip the screw out. Once that's tightened up, let's go ahead and check it again and it should be right at what the picture shows or 90 millimeters.